Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be making brass pennies, which are pennies coated with a thin layer of brass. Uh, this lab is important to me because it was the first thing I did out here in my home lab. So there are a few ways to go about this reaction. The one I'm going to be showing involves sodium hydroxide and zinc dust. So first, some sodium hydroxide is added to a beaker. and dissolved in water. Next, zinc dust is added to the same beaker. All right. A normal clean penny, make sure it's very clean or new, is added to the mixture and the mixture is heated. Now, once you see it start to gently boil, you're going to examine the penny and see when it turns silver. Once it turns silver, it has been coated with zinc, and the process is complete for this step. So you're going to remove it and wash it in some distilled water. So I'm going to let mine heat, and I'll get back to you when it is done being coated with zinc. All right, my penny has been gently heating for a couple minutes now. And if I put it up against the beaker wall, you can see that the color has changed from copper to zinc. So I pulled it out and wash it in some distilled water. The final step in making this a brass penny is to melt the zinc layer into the already existing copper layer on the penny. And this is done with a propane torch. So I'm going to light my torch and then show you the final step. All right, so now my torch has been lit and I'm going to be introducing the penny to the flame. You don't want to put it right in the tip of the flame because you could damage the zinc that the penny is composed of. So with gentle heating, you should be able to see a pretty immediate change to a brass color. And there it is brass penny. So I'll cool it in some water. And there is my brass penny.